What's up guys? This week's book is Get the Life You Want by Richard Bandler. I'm doing a little bit different video this time, walking to my workshop here, here in Helsinki. Maybe this is more interesting for you to watch as well. More interesting than just the same background all the time. But Richard ba uh, Bandler is the co-founder co -founder of NLP. It's a very powerful book. Great ideas. Here are my favorite five takeaways. First one is if you look for difficulties you're likely to find them. If you look for what works you are likely to find them. So it's all about like how you see things, how you how you like visualize them and everything. Like if if you think of things like difficult they're going to be difficult and you're going to find more difficult things and more trouble. But if you look for good things you'll find good things. Then uh, it's uh, the next idea is that the strongest instinct in human nature is the uh, need to look for the familiar. So, like, there's nothing we scar are scared of more than the unfamiliar. Some people even rather kill themselves selves than face the new, like, <coughs> a new relationship or new kind of life. So that's what people fear. That's very important to understand that. Uh, unfamiliar things are not something people like. They like the familiar stuff. Then, point number three, idea three, is that uh, you should learn to make decisions when you feel good. When you feel bad, when you're in a bad mood, you're tempted to, or you will all, almost always like make a bad decision because of how you feel. But when you feel good, you can make good decisions. Idea four, use submodel submodalities to identify or lessen a feeling. So we all see things in a certain way in our head. We might see, them, see a movie, see a picture, see it in color, black and white, close, far away, the sounds as well, loud sounds, quiet sounds, how they sound, everything like how, the, how it feels. If you change those things, you will feel totally different. Like if you don't like something, you can just move it further away from you, you can make it more quiet, black and white, make it a picture, frame it, not make it as intensive. And then if you want to be motivated to do something, for example, you can think of it as very big and bright, close and loud and everything so that you get motivated. But you need to understand what are your sub submodalities and what you see as like good and what you don't like. What is close but not too close, what is loud but not too loud. And finally, number five, um, how you see your timeline changes, how you feel about the past and present. So, um, like if you have some bad memories you want to get over, you can push them like behind you. If you see the picture like behind you and again small and black and white and stuff, it feels less intensive than if you see it like close up, like it would be just present moment right now. And then the future as well, you need to see it like very brightly and in front of you, clearly, a clear vision. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Peace.